Our connection to our homeland is deep. Our tribe, Yak Tichu Tichu, Yak Tilhini. We are the people of Tilhini, which is this whole area, all of the San Luis Obispo County and region. The whole idea of the project was really to help people who are coming to live in our homeland understand the beauty and the connection that we have to our place. The university wanted the most forward-thinking design in terms of functionality. If this is going to be this point of integration where students who have never been away from home are enjoying their first experience in higher education, the architecture should really enhance that experience. The initial conversations to make the connection to the tribe was done by the university, and it was important to the tribe that this was not a cultural appropriation, that this was really respecting and honoring uh, the culture of the people and would be a real positive statement. When I first heard about the project, I was a little apprehensive because marginalized communities can often be exploited. And so there is a worry when you work with an institution, but we felt that the engagement with Cal Poly was genuine, and we wanted to take that risk because we felt it would be worth it. It's a long, rich history of their culture and traditions, and to bring that forward in modern times, I think, is really exciting. Socialization is key to the success of these buildings. We envisioned a stairwell that moves up through the building, uh, moving from one side to the other of this space, which is like a social mixing bowl. On the other side of a glass wall, you see the stadium seating, which is a key feature of the living rooms that are stacked within these buildings. So we did a graphics program that expanded on the idea that each building is identified as a place. We wanted to highlight our homeland boundaries, and we felt that by selecting the villages that we did, it gives a perspective of the diversity of the northern Chumash homeland. Their connection to nature is very important, and including that within the murals was essential. The color themes in every building are picked out of pictures from that specific village location. So when you walk into the dorm of Nipumu, you're gonna see colors that you're gonna see out in Nipomo. How can we bring culture and the knowledge and the language from the Yachtichu Tichu Yachtilhini tribe into the community and not just have it be names and a building? So it'll help the kids get oriented with this new location that they're now moving to or come to for the first time. And we think that's really important for the students to identify with this place and connect with it on their own as, as their new home as well. Design at its best is inclusive. This project is about making a place, connecting students to each other, to the community, and to the land around them.